Okay, this is the section that out of all three sections is the easiest. Of course, somebody will mess it up, but we'll just have to say that 80% of the class will probably do okay on it. And that is the mean and the standard deviation for a binomial distribution. So there it is. Write those three down. Real hard math. You might have to depend on the calculator because you're multiplying three digits. So I meant three terms. So real hard math. So the silent, uh, the silent uh, calculator team members, you'll be okay. Now, remember what I told you about probability, and I told you that the, mo the two are statistics and probability, whatever. The two most important numbers that you can get or calculate is what? Zero. No, you don't calculate that. That's Standard already deviation. there. The mean and the what? Standard deviation. Standard deviation. Yeah. If you don't learn anything out of this class, learn that those are the two most important numbers in probability and statistics because that sets up the normal distribution. So in this case, we've been given probability distributions or what we call binomial distributions and we're wanting to find the mean and standard deviation just given the probability. Now I want you to think about that for a minute. You're finding the mean and the standard deviation of something that you've been given the probability to. So it's kind of taking oranges and getting apple juice out of oranges because you don't have enough data to get all you've got is probability and you're getting the mean and the standard deviation from just the probability. Well, that's why these formulas exist. I want you to be able to do two things or three things for the test for 5.4. I want you to be able to find the mean and standard deviation and set up the normal distribution based on the mean and the standard deviation. Now we have been doing the normal distribution since we've been doing the mean and the standard deviation back in chapter three. So when I ask for that, I don't want somebody going, how'd you get that? How'd you get those numbers? I'm not gonna <coughs> answer that because we have been doing it since chapter three. You take the mean and you do what on the right side? You add the standard deviation and on the left side you what? Subtract it. So please don't ask that question because I will act like you didn't answer it, ask it and I will keep on going. All right, so the mean is the N and what is N? The population of the sample or the population of the population. So in this case, if we were talking about this class, it would be N is equal to however many people are in the class. Um, P is your probability. It will be given to you in three forms. Either a fraction, a decimal, or a what? Percent. And Q is the what of P? Complement. So we're talking about on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being extremely challenging and 1 being extremely not challenging, we're talking about a 2 or a 3 on the scale of being easy or not. These are real easy problems. <clears throat> and for 80% of you, you will find out that they're easy and they will, they're easy to get correct. There will be a couple of y'all that ask me how to do it. You shouldn't have to. All right, let's take a look at this first example and then we'll do some problems out of the homework online. It says, McDonald's has a 95% recognition rate based on marketing, blah, blah, blah. A special focus group consists of 12 randomly selected adults to be used for extensive market testing. For each random group of 12 people, find the mean and standard deviation for the number of people who recognize the brand name of McDonald's. All right, this is a 
marketing question. This is the type of stuff you get into with marketing. Name me three stores that is that are kings at marketing. Target, Target Walmart, and this one is kind of uh, not gotten as big as those two, but nope. <laughs> it's got wall in it. Walgreens. How do you know if something is real good at marketing? You go in to buy Q-tips and you leave with what? Six hundred dollars worth of stuff. They are kings at marketing if they are doing that to you. Walgreens is almost surpassing Walmart. I mean, Target is catching up on Walmart real fast because you go into Target. I go in there to buy socks and I leave with like a buggy full of stuff. And and I like going to Target because you don't have kids running around in their underwear. Okay? That's why I don't go to Walmart. I go to the Hartwell Walmart. And that's it. I will not go to Walmart's in Anderson. I'm getting tired of looking at kids running around 30 degree weather outside and they're running around in their underwear. I'm, I ain't, I'm watching them. Now. So anyway, marketing is what this is, you know, recognition, putting the stuff out there that they know exactly what to put in the aisle for you to grab it and say, I don't need this, but I'm going to buy it because I want it. That's marketing. And uh, I think uh, Walgreens is catching up on them big time. And if you notice that the Walgreens carry stuff that, that, I mean, they just start piling stuff on top of shelves. Have you noticed that? They just keep putting in stuff. Walgreens has a grocery section. The one on 24 actually has a grocery section. You actually can buy needed groceries in Walgreens. It's getting, they're going to they gonna expand and get as big as the other giants. But anyway, I don't know why I got off that. But anyway, marketing is marketing. And you see a lot of probability in marketing. A lot. So, what is in? 12. N is 12. How do I know N is 12? Well, I told y'all that you'll have a percentage or decimal or a fraction and you'll have a big number. So which one's which? Well, your percentage is 0.95. So therefore, 12 is what? N. Alright, so you're going to go through and you're going to plug in N times P. Alright? Again, 95% of n times p, or I mean, n times p is 9.95 times 12. Um, One percent of 12, or to, or 10 percent of 12 is 1.2. One percent of 12 is 1.2. So 90, or nine times one or 0.12, is what? 1.08. That's uh, 90 percent. And then five, 10 percent would be 1.2. 60. What did I say was the first one? The first number? I don't forget it. I, I was trying to do it in my head. 108, didn't I say 108? Yes. All right, so that would be 10.8 plus 11.4. Somebody check and see what 95% of 12 is. It's a miracle. Now I'm going to tell y'all like I told my other students. These problems right here, yes, you can use calculator. Alright? But try to do as much as you can with your head. And I tell people that all the time. Because I don't want y'all being in the real world, not being able to make change for $11.57, somebody give you $20.57. I don't want you to stand there like a dumbass. <laughs> okay? And if you do, please do not raise your hand and say, I'm one of those people quit talking about me. Hello. Hi. Okay, you about you about you close? Okay. I'll send somebody down to the lobby. Thanks. Bye bye. Miss Poland, would you take care of that please? And uh leave him like a twenty percent tip, please. Uh, no, just do my card. So I did it on my card, just oh, oh, fill it okay. out. Leave about 20%, please. Okay. All right. <coughs> Order pizza for the class. Oh, what kind of topping See? Smile. I like smiles. <laughs>
Okay. They sent an MRI. Yeah. So. They did what? Had an MRI. Well, on your knee? No, on my uh, head. Uh, did you get a concussion? Did they find anything was there? Uh, I'll get the results back later. No, what happened? Oh, uh, this is from my injuries in the military. Oh. Uh, they're just now getting to it. You must be the VA. I don't go to the VA. I should, but I don't. The reason I don't is because I don't want to have to. I don't, it's depressing for one thing because they say, okay, we can get to you around June of next year. I might be dead by then. Anyway, my personal opinion is they sub 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 subcontracted out to local hospitals. I don't see why you have to have a VA. Anyway. They don't do that, actually. Hmm? They do that. Are they? Mm -hmm. I think they should. All right. So, in this problem, I get, what did I say the answer was? 11.4 .4 is your mean. Now you multiply that by Q, which is 0 0.05 which is not hard to do because what is 1% or what is 10% of 11.4? 1.14, 1 Hubert. That's right. And 1.14, that's 10%. What would half of 1.14 be? 0.7. So multiply that, you get 0.7 times that, and then you work it out. I done lost train of thought. Sorry, pizzas don't get on my brain. So really use multiply your main times your key? Mm-hmm. So that'd be 0 0.7, and the square root of 0 0.7, I have no idea what that is, because I ain't Rain Man. I actually did that in my last class, and they asked me who was Rain Man. Y'all not use Google. I mean, is it just, you know, you just don't want people to, you know, you don't want to learn or what. You know, I'm one of these people, whenever somebody says something that I don't know what the answer is, and that happens a lot in academia, because I don't, study a lot and and other teachers use these big humongous words first thing I do Google I'll turn around pick up my phone and I'll Google it I say rain man in class I got 15 students that don't know what it is and they just sit there are you saying rain man or rain man rain okay. man. Rain man. Yeah. all right so that's our answer what's the square root of seven or point seven is that what it came out to be point seven somebody do it what's the NPQ What's 11.4 times 0 0.05? 0 0.57. 0 0.57, okay. 0 0.57. And 0 0.57, did you take the square root of it? 10 square root of 0.57? Mm-hmm. 0.75. Okay, I thought it was 0.7, but anyway. Oh, I didn't. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so we've got a mean of 11 point what? Oh no, you got the cross. No, I just, I didn't. That's why I don't like to blow it up. You got a mean of 11.4, just put it on the right here, I guess. Okay. Okay. You got a mean of 11.4. I'm just going to use 11 because I don't want to do the decimals in my head. And then two to the right, what's the standard deviation? Um, point seven. Point seven. We're going to say 0.8. So that'd be 11.8 and then 12. Point what? Six. And then 12.2 uh, uh, or 10.2. And take 0.8 away from that, that'd be what? Four. 9.4. So if I asked you what the probability of, if I asked you what the probability of 11.5 or 10, you would tell me that would be what? Normal? If I asked you for 11, for a number of 13, you would tell me that's what? Un unusual. Okay? Y'all come eat. I have to put the cups up here. I gotta have something to drink. I, look, I told them to send me extra napkins. Look at this. That's a notebook paper. Use notebook paper. That's good. I don't care. I ain't using it right. So, um, all you have to do for this chapter is. Never heard of ladies first. Uh, N is equal to. The number. Uh -huh. And then, or people, or whatever. And then, 
Mm-hmm. And then your cube is one minus p, and then you multiply your n times p. NPQ and take the square root of it. And get your, what is that? That's your standard deviation. <laughs> All right, we're going to go over it again. <clears throat> oh, here's your Sprite if you want Sprite. I need another table, but what you want, Sprite or table? Okay. I took three or four swigs out of the bottle. What you want? You want Sprite? Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm the bartender. But yet they didn't say anything. Mr. Wilmarine, get up here and get you something to eat. Are you waiting until the line goes down? You better hurry because the Sprite's running out. <coughs> I'll, I'll eat. I'm going to drink the rest of that Sprite. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I can pull rank on you, bud. Yeah, man. Or you can use a napkin. You're welcome. Are. Where? Well, be, be glad that y'all are a class that can handle it. Uh, Most students are like, oh my God, he ordered pizza. Does anybody else want pizza? Yes. Did I not get enough? There's two pieces left. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Who, who, who wants some more? I'll order another one. I'm sorry. I thought 24 pieces. I don't know. 55. Hmm? I gave you pieces. Oh, okay. Thank you for I was thinking about you, not me. Don't you see? Let me get one for you. Well, it's all saying, no, squeaky door gets what? Nothing. Uh oh, I am. So if you didn't get up to come get it, then I'm sorry. All right. So for the people that came in after we started the class, the formulas that you need to write down are these formulas right here. The mean is N times P. The standard deviation is the square root of MPQ. N is always going to be your population or your attempts. So N is always going to be your big number. And then P is going to be a decimal, fraction, or what? Or percent. Or all ratio. And Q is the complement of what? Complement of so these problems are not going to be that difficult. So in this case, we had a N that was equal to 12 and a P that was equal to 0.95. Therefore, Q is equal to 0 0.05. And that would be the mean is equal to N times P, which is equal to 12 times 0.95, and I think we came up with 11.4. So that was our mean. I just wrote it as 11 because I didn't want to have to do the decimals. Then you take the square root of 11.4, which is N times P times Q, and that's going to be 11.4 times 
times point what? Zero five, which is five percent, which is half of ten percent, and the square root of eleven point four is what? I'm sorry. The the ten percent of eleven point four is what? One point one four, right? And half of one point one four we said was what? Seventy six. And that's what it came out to be, or something like that. And when you take the square root, that's the variance. And you take the square root of that, what does that come out to? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And it came out to be, I'm sorry, what did you say? So, sigma is equal to 0.75, which is the standard deviation, or 0.8. So what I did is I went 11, and then added 0.8, added 0.8, and then 11 minus 0.8, 11 is our 2.2, 20 minus 0.8, and that gave me my normal distribution. And 95% falls in what? In two standard what? Deviation. Two standard deviations equals 95%, which is what my daughter said back a long time ago, normal. Okay? Question. All right, complain. All right, so let's do one out of your homework. All right, let's start off with something simple because I don't want to really uh, fry y'all's brain at the first, you know, problem, so. Okay. No, that's, okay, here we go. Uh, now, and I don't even think you need a calculator for this one. So this would be a good one for you to try to do some calisthenics for the problem solving process so you can make change one day. Not sit there like a dummy. That happened at, at uh, Lowe's this weekend. $19.57. That was my bill. I gave them $20.57 and they sat there and just looked at it. And I said, are you full-time here or are you part-time? And they said, oh, I'm full-time. I said, you shouldn't be running the cash register. And she just looked at me like, she shouldn't. There is no way in Hades if I owned or managed a Lowe's that they would have to pass a basic math test before they'd be on. Because what, what happens? If you have somebody that can't do basic math, what happens to the register at the end of the night? It's going to be short or it's going to be something. I don't know what it's going to be, but it ain't going to be what? Right. right. Mm. I said, you should be in the stock room or something. Twelve years of high school, or twelve years of school, people can't take change, make change. That's really pitiful. It's not on the standardized test. Exactly, it's not coached. But they can tell you who the civil rights leader was in the 1960s. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way. He was a great man. But can they tell you who the fifth president was? No, it's not on the standardized test. Huh? Who was the first president of the United States? Thank God. John No, I think it is John Quincy Adams. Who was 15? That's real easy. Abraham Lincoln. It was, wasn't it? 16th, that's right, because you divide by you divide three into five. I'm sorry. I always knew it was fifteen or sixteen because of the five dollar bill. What? I know a vice president that was. There's one that didn't do anything because I don't fifth president was James Moore. Fifth president. Y'all were wrong. Yeah, Andrew Jackson. Which president is on the $100 bill? It's not a president. 
<laughs> Somebody's going, well, what's the picture of? SpongeBob. Yes. Well, lots of people don't know that Alexander Hamilton was involved in it. They don't You know, all those people are only the developers, they all have something in common. They all are all the white painters. They didn't want them. They didn't want them. And George W. Bush hates black people. <laughs> That's what Kanye <laughs> West said. Yeah. Have y'all never seen that? Kanye <laughs> West He's got the IQ of a pigeon. No, I don't think pigeons are that stupid. How are y'all talking about Northwest? Who? Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's daughter is Northwest. Well, her name's Nori. Maybe it's not. Nori, okay. <laughs> this is not. This is not a joke. He named his kid Nori. Yeah. 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 They, they, they really Nori. named her Nori. They like Northwest. You're gonna name my child Nori. You're gonna change my last name Nori. I'm gonna change my first name to Tad and my second name to Cole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fifteen hundred times. Now, why do I say you don't need a calculator for this? Well, uh, yeah, 1,500 over 1 times 2 over 5, and 5 will go into 1,500 300 times, so what's 300 times 2? So you should not use a calculator for that. I hope you did, and please don't tell me you did because that would just piss me off. So just like the woman at Lowe's. <laughs> so I'm going to take. That is embarrassing. I bet she went home and studied her math. No, she didn't. I probably did. Well, she shouldn't be running the cash register. She gets paid when she does that make sure you not. <laughs> All right, square root of 600 times what? Well, we've got to multiply that times Q. What is Q if this is two fifths? Three fifths. So multiply by three fifths. Oh, look, we don't need a calculator there. So 600 over 1 times 3 over 5. Well, 5 will go into 120 times. So how many times will 5 go into 600? 120? Yes, Hubert. Okay, 120 times 3 is what? 3 what? 3 All right. Circle. Glad you're paying attention. All right, so the variance is 360. What is the square root of 360? I have no idea. You should calculate it. That's what it's for. Huh? I just did. How many decimal places? I don't care. I got like 18.98. 18.98. Everybody got that? So let's set up our handy dandy normal distribution. Because this is all we're going to be doing in chapter 6. So, what's my mean? 600? I'm going to round this to 20. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do it for me. So, 600. This would be 620. This would be what? 640. This would be 580. And this would be 560. Now, yours would be decimals. You would take 600 plus 18.98. And then that number plus 18.98. And then this number minus 18.98, and this number minus 18.98. And that's how you do that. So this is just high school math, or not high school math, junior high math, and you put it to application. I got C's in that too. Hmm? I said I got C's in that too. Just tell me you can make change. I can make change. Simple change. Oh, I mean, somebody giving you 22 cent and the bill is four dollars and ninety-seven cent. That don't make no sense. But you know, uh, I've had people do that. I've had people. Do that. I had the other day I had an order come through my line and they paid me twenty dollars in change. <coughs> and I had to sit there and count. Victims. That's those people that pay for a carton of cigarettes with change at the local convenience store. One, they're paying two prices too much at the local convenience Somebody store. And two, why don't they go by Bilo and get the change sure changed into dollar bills? There they can get better price on the cigarettes 
and they can get their money. They don't have to carry it around. Oh well, it's Bush's fault. I'm trying to find you a test question. All right. Let's try this one. I'm going to let you try it. Write it down, please, because this is a test question. Need a calculator for this one. I watched a weird, scary movie last night about 2 o'clock in the morning. Was Graveyard. It's about these Pets. people. Huh? <laughs> it's about these people that like to do scary movies and they go into this old insane asylum. What? Yeah, huh? I don't know if that's it or not, but they all went crazy. Well, one finally lived at the end, but he, he died. I mean, it was weird. There was like seven or eight of them at the beginning, and they all died off. Is that what it was? Grave encounters? They went to this old mental institution, and the guy was like, ooh, this is scary. Let's interview these people, give them money, and they'll... And they, it, he was thought it was a joke. He was the head guy, and they all went in and kept into the insane asylum, and they'd been gone for like 100 years or whatever, and... Whew. Is that it was one, scary. Is that the one where like, like they go to open the door and like, it leads to another hallway? Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay. I hate it when they have these people, <laughs> the ghosts in the movie that do weird things. It just freaks me out. Like Mama, that, that when she was walking down that hallway and then the light flickered on and it flickered off and then it flickered on and that thing was right beside her. Oh my God. I think I lost it on that one. Oh gosh, the grudge when when that when that chick's crawling backwards and oh my god. All right. I do too. I love them too. I watch them all the time. I can't watch a comedy. They're not funny to me. Especially a comedy that's as creative as dirt. What movie? Fault in Our Stars. Fault in Our Stars. What is it? Uh, I like romance. I like, I like romance. I like drama, suspense, and horror. That's it. Don't do it. Did it end up there? They all died. Oh, no. I don't like that. I know. It was so sad. And she had a very hot thing in the ground. All right. What is our P? Be careful, it's not it's not point six two, it's point what? Zero six two. That's why you need to use your calculator unless you just rain man. It was point zero six two. It's point zero six two. Not was point zero six two. We didn't change the end. What? Alright, and N is what? Now about the closest you could get. 
if you wanted to try to challenge yourself, is what is 10% of 1,500? And what is 1% 1 of 1,500? 15. And 15 times 6 is what? 15 times 6 is what? 90? So you're talking about 90, and you could even go one further, you're talking 90, and let's see, that's 90. 6% would be 90. And 1%, we said 1% was what? I said 10% is 150. 1% is that, and 1.5 would be 3. So what did I say the first number was? 90, so 93? Yeah, 0.938. Yeah, 0 0.93, is that, is that what you come out to be? 0.938. Okay, so 0 0.938 is your mean. <clears throat> I just did 93 because I was doing it in my head. Okay, and now we take 0.93 and it's just 93. It's just 93. Hmm? It's just 93. Okay. I don't know where I got my point from. I thought it was 93 when I was doing it. Okay. All right. Now we do we do omega. No, no, no. Sigma is equal to 93 times what is that's going to be 0.938. Oh, see, that's where I got my point from. Sorry. There we go. See? That's why I didn't do that. Yeah, I'm trying to do it. That'd be 0 0.93. That'd be 0.93 times 9. And that'd be 8.1. And, oh, you're talking about 8.1, 10.8. Hmm. I have no idea. What does it come out to be? Under the radical? Yeah, under the radical. Okay, what does it come out to be? 87. 3. Yeah. And then what's the square root? No, I got 9.34. 9.34. 9 9 so it's 9 9 9 9 your mean is 93, and I'm just going to make that 9. So 93. And then plus 9 is what? Uh, 102. Plus 9 is 111. And then back, 93 minus 9 is 84. And 84 minus 9 is 75. So between 75 and 111 is normal. Is that as hard as people? Yep. Okay, so let's do another one. Oh, the old roulette wheel. Since y'all love it so much, let's go back to it. And yes, the roulette wheel will always be on the test, no matter what. Just because it brings back memories and make you go down in points. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Yes, 290. Okay. Now don't get the number 7 mixed up with your N because the N is not 7. In this case, 7 is just a number. It's not a quantity. It's a number. What's my N? 299. What's my P? 1 over 38. And what's my Q? 297. Does it say 290? Thank you. There we go. 
Okay. So the mean, find the mean and standard deviations is going to be mu is equal to 290 times 1 over 38, and that'd be 290 over 38. So do that in your calculator. And that'll give you what? 7.2. 7 <laughs> I'm just going to do 7.2. Okay, what? It was 7.63. Uh, 7.63. Well, y'all mumble when y'all give me the answer. I'm sorry. All of y'all do. Now, I'm not talking about it in this class. I'm talking about all students. Say 7.23. Y'all need to enunciate. Now, that's very, I can hear that without any problem. But all I get is under the. I didn't hear that at all. All right, so now I take 7.6 and multiply that by 37 over 38 and take the square root of that and just give me the finished product. What is it? Just give me two decimal, one decimal place. 2.7. Okay. That was very good. It was so good I make the 7 extra large. All right, so our... So that would be 7.6. I can't even read that. 7.6. And then that will be 7.6 plus 2.7 is 9.8. And 9.8 plus 2.7 will be 12.5. So you don't have to shade on it. We haven't got to that yet. But don't worry, when we get to that, I'm going to give you extra problems on your test. 7.6 minus 2.7 is 4.9. Somebody help me out. And 4.9 be 2.2. Now the question says, would zero wins in 200 be unusual? Yes. So your answer here, the mean value is 7.6. The standard deviation is 2.7. And B, is it unusual? Yes, because, or yes, because zero is below. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Which one is it? It's greater than the maximum usual value. Or below, or yes, it's because it's within the range of usual. It is unusually low because I guess it should be below the minimum. But I'm not too confident in these things, so maybe we got it right. All right, try that one, and then I'll let y'all go. Y'all got seven minutes, so. We are. I'm letting y'all have to this one. Well, I got your pizza. That was before I got your pizza. Yeah. You gonna complain about that? I'm not gonna complain about it. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't buy pizza then. All right. I'm gonna pull up the roll for y'all. Okay, Miss Bannister was here. Baroni's here. Barrington's here. Carpenter. Carpenter. Sharping's here. Dawson's here. Desai's here. Frank's here. Gray is not here. Hunsinger's here. Melissa, are you here? Taylor's here. I knew one of y'all was here. Okay, Kern is not here. Curtis was here before class. Oops, that's wrong. Kern is not here. Kurtz was here before class. Marshall. Uh, Mayfield. Morgan is here. Mullen. And Oliver is here. Poland's here. Robinson's here. Roller. 
Uh, Sammons was here before class. Smith. Smith. Thrasher. Tollison. Turner. Whitman. Okay, Wilmarine and Wilson. Okay, on this one, what is in? 281. What about the P? 1 over 365, unless it's a leap year. Isn't it on here? Huh? Oh, it does? I didn't see that. All right, and that would be, what does that come out to be? What's the mean? Um, 1 over 365 times 281. Point seven what? It says yeah. round to six decimal places. Um, um, point seven, six, nine, eight, six, three. You sure you don't want to mumble those? Point seven, six, nine, six, three. Did you hear me or not? No, I was kidding. I'm not, no. Very bad Forget joke. It. Yeah, I just suck. I, I suck. <laughs> All right, point seven six nine eight six three times three hundred and sixty four over three hundred sixty five. Rain man, what is it? And then take the square root of it and give me six freaking decimal places. Why six? Okay, has anybody got it? That's, I only need six. There we go. I don't know, maybe that's not You did it right. Would two be unusual? Well, let me ask you something. What's point eight plus point nine? Point, one point seven? And then what's one point seven plus point nine? Two point six? So would two be unusual? No. And you need to put, it's within the range and you feel good about yourself. So I did get that right? Yep, you did. You did.